Elizabeth Healthcare. Healthcare providers say something small can help patients in a big way during and after a hospital stay. And so Liz Bonus is here to tell us more about it. Hey Liz. Hey guys, good evening to you once again. Quite often when we think of what we need to get better in a hospital stay, we think about treating the body. But today we ask experts about something called prayer shawls that are needed at St. Elizabeth Healthcare to help treat body and soul. It's really relaxing and it's something I can do that's productive while I'm sitting around on the couch. <laughs> it's pretty easy to see how passion creates something beautiful. But for Lori Winkler, when passion meets purpose, nothing better. I loved the prayer shawl idea. A prayer shawl is when a patient is having a difficult time or is scared or whatever. Um, it's something that's been knit or crocheted with prayer and then blessed and then we can wrap the patient in prayer. Lori and Janet Murphy are part of a group called Common Thread. Their mission is that they make anything that an organization would need to help a family that's in crisis of some sort. So right now they need those who sew, knit, or crochet to make prayer shawls for Marion Boyer's hospital chaplain team. Can you they, show it? Show me what you do with them. Yes. Sure. A prayer shawl, as they showed me, is sort of anointed after it's made. Loving God, we come to you thankful for this day. But with that anointing comes the prayer <laughs> that if you're watching this, you too might be able to volunteer. I will set them up with the patterns and what they need to do it go forward. The need, pretty abundant right now. What we would really love to see is about 20 a month. Partly because with the prayer shawl comes the prayer. But something they can take with them and know that people they don't even know care about them and are praying for them and knit that shawl with uh, prayer for them. If you can volunteer, Common Thread is coordinating this effort for St. Elizabeth Healthcare. There's a number for you to call and you can make them on your own or with others. That number 513-703-7950 or you can visit local12.com. Click on Ask the Expert, guys. All right, Liz, thank you so much for that update. Supplies are also expected to be needed here as well. So donations of yarn or material are always welcome too.